Hey everybody, welcome to The Plugin Duo. My name is Julio. Behind the camera is my wife, Christine. Previously on the channel, we had unboxed both the Flip 4 and the Fold 4. So for this video, we're gonna be talking about my beauty, the Fold 4. Why is it naked? Um, well, that's the point of this video. So let's get to it. So, so why exactly is this phone still without a case? Well, as uh, per the last video, uh, when I said that I had ordered, I have put a order for my TPU case, which is a jelly case, which I am a very big fan of. Uh, the case arrived. Why is the phone still naked? Why, is it, why are we saying that? Here it is, okay? Let's see what the problem is. So here is the case for the phone. The packaging isn't exactly all that great, but we don't care about the packaging. We care about the case, right? So let's see. This is what I have been going through with this Fold 4. Here, I have a polycarbonate front, hard, clear plastic. At least on here, if you notice, there's no adhesive. That's good, right? But I ordered a TPU case. So how does that work? Well, this is a TPU case. How do you get half TPU and half polycarbonate? Did they mess up? What happened? I don't understand. You know what? Let's try it on the phone. The other speaking case uh, I returned because at the bottom of the case, there was actually little strips of adhesive that you got to put so that the case does, does not fall off. Me, I am very big on not sticking things on my phone that have adhesive or glue or stickers. I don't like any of that. And I, preferably, I don't like to have cases on my phones. Only problem is that these phones nowadays, they are glass. They are very nice to look at. They are glass, they're shiny, they're smooth. They are very, very attractive but they are very slippery. They slip extremely fast. But anyway, let's see how this fits. Yeah. See, already you, you can see the problem. Opening my case and see the, case, the bottom half is already starting to want to fall off. So this is the front. Let's light it on here. No one will ever know? No, I will know. That's what the problem. I'm sorry, but this, this wins the award for the world's ugliest case. It must have a lot of uh, protection. It does, I guess. But how do you have a case that the top is plastic and the bottom is rubber? I mean, if you're gonna do that, might as well have plastic on some parts and rubber on the, on the edges. If you notice on here, these edges don't even line up correctly. I appreciate that the volume, bu volume buttons are actually in rubber and that the sensor for for the power button is uncovered the only problem is that it's so far recessed in here that it really doesn't even recognize my fingerprint see fingerprint doesn't match it doesn't even recognize the fingerprint so oh there it did after a couple of tries so that is what i'm going through i don't know if this is an issue with foldables i don't know if this is an issue when this device is so new but every other phone that i've had from the from the s3 to the uh what is it to the s7 s8 uh, s9 uh the, the s20 and to the s22 a couple of days later after getting the phone i've gone to best buy we've looked online and i've been able to get a a, a tpu case that fits just fine just perfect i'm disappointed I don't know, I honestly don't know what to do. I, I didn't want, I don't want to make this video uh, a very negative one, but honestly, I love the phone and, and I'm learning all the little quirks and, and, and just the difference between a regular a non-foldable phone versus these foldables. But oh my God, has it been a pain in the you know what to find a case for this fold for. And I've seen a whole bunch of cases, but to be honest, for me, the cases, I'm sorry, but they're just pretty darn ugly. I mean, they either have this large, ugly bump here for whatever reason, or it looks like an armadillo with like a whole bunch of plates stacking one on top of the other, or it just looks like a big, lumpy, big mess. What is the use of having a phone that is so sleek and so beautiful if you're just gonna cover it up and not even be able to see it? So that is where I'm at with this case. So do I like this one? No. Okay, the bottom half starts to fall off. You, you guys seen it, you guys saw it. Cases are supposed to be for protection of your device. This is not protection. I thought Spigen was bad. Oh my God, this, this is trash. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the manufacturer, but this is plain trash. This again, is going back. But look at this, look at this junk. 
it should not fall out this easy. And on top of that, I mean, this case is very uninspired. And again, plas half plastic, half rubber. Who designed this junk? Honestly, this is bad. So again, I'm stuck with no case. So this, I'm sorry, this is junk. See, I want to throw this in the trash, but I want to get my money back. So we're going to send this back. So case number two, eh, failed again. Spigen, nope. This one, definitely nope. So as per the unboxing video you guys have seen about the Samsung case, let me give it another try. Maybe, maybe I was too harsh on it. Let's see. I know this, this had adhesives, which again, I am not a fan of. Not in the least bit. I do not like adhesives on phone cases. But let's give it a try one more time. Maybe I was wrong. Again, this is the, the S Pen puller right here. You have the S Pen portion because again, this is a modular case. So you have your S Pen to swip, swap out. And by the way, I didn't mention it, but the cool thing, at least Samsung does put some thought into their products. Right here, this has felt, so it doesn't scratch up your case and it feels nice, feels quality. It feels way more quality than that piece of junk over there. Just to make sure that I'm not wrong, let me briefly take this off. Yeah, it's a adhesive. So let's try the Samsung one. I'm gonna keep the adhesive uh, little things on because again, I don't wanna, this is, this is a trial run, okay? Let's do that. It's a trial run. And again, this has a nice soft finish right here. And uh, it's a little bit thick, but hey, let's see. Maybe since it's a Samsung branded case. So let's line it up. Okay, so this is the case. So, uh, I mean, I guess it didn't fall off. So I guess that, that's a win. And let me see. It has its kickstand right here. You have your kickstand over here. Now, can you do this? Yeah. It's a little bit wobbly. You have your volume rocker right here. You have your power slash fingerprint scanner right there. It's nice and accessible so that you can uh, so that you can have access to your phone fast and efficiently. And then if in case I want to swap this out for the S Pen, oh, oh, and see, this is where it becomes a problem. See, as I was trying to swap this out, this part is falling out for the S Pen. Okay. So this is how the case looks like. Uh, it's not so much rubbery. It's uh, more like a smooth plastic. Um, it's very, very smooth. It's not slippery. Definitely not rubberized. You can feel that it's plastic. Um, but yeah, I'm not satisfied. Yeah, in the hand, I mean, if you notice, definitely there's there's going to be a bump here for the, for the S Pen. And it definitely does put some extra width on for the phone. See, look, without even trying, look. And uh, I'm jealous that my wife's phone, I'm jealous that for the Flip 4, there are so many options that are both better aesthetically, better designed, better fitting, uh, more imaginative uh, on, their, uh, on their designs. But honestly, oh my God, I really did not think that I would be this long and I still would not have been able to find a case. Because as I said, for me, a, a, the perfect case is a case that is thin. Uh, you can see the color, so it has to be clear. And also I wanted a uh, TPU, a uh, flexible case. So, um, because I wanted to have a grip because I don't want it slipping everywhere and falling and getting damaged. And so I thought, you know what? What if, what if I'm thinking about it all wrong? What if I put a skin on my phone? So I went to the website dbrand. Well, here's the problem. dbrand is gonna start shipping their Fold 4 skins until October. This phone came out in August, so that's where I'm at. So what about you guys? Have you guys found the perfect case? What did you guys do? Are you guys in the same pickle that I am? Are you guys having the same issues? See, aren't you glad you got the flip? Hmm. I probably would have just put the adhesive. You call it a done deal. I'm, I'm still at square one. I got the phone. I love the phone. There's, uh, the phone has its quirks, but I love the phone. There's some things that, that I think could be done better, but overall, the phone is great. The battery life has been great. The only bad experience I'm having is no case. If you guys are on the fence about getting a Fold 4, just realize, do your homework, do your research, find a case that you love, and realize that most likely, cases will have this adhesive strip. And the problem is, when we put it in our pocket, what happens? What, what is inside of pockets? Lint. 
So good luck trying to try to keep that lint out of that adhesive and stuck onto your phone if you guess you need to remove it. So don't forget to check out our reviews and unboxing of different forms of technology. But this is Julio. We are the plug-in duo and we will see each other next time we plug in. Anyway, let's see how this uh, ordeal goes for me. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good day. Bye.